Nacho angrily rejects Harry on his team after Megan's arrogant behavior. Stop playing polo now. Hello, friends. Welcome to Breaking Royal News about the notorious hypocritical couple, Harry and Meghan Markle, on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. Prince William played polo today at Windsor for charity, and there are many flattering photos circulating, including photos of the Princess of Wales. I was quite impressed by how Kate handled the standing ovation for Federer at Wimbledon last week. He came out of the wings of the seating area and stood right next to her. The crowd went wild. Kate was beaming from ear to ear, thrilled for Federer, and she joined in with enthusiastic and heartfelt clapping too. Clapping for a long time. She was entirely natural, comfortable in her own skin, and happy to give someone else the limelight. She was perfectly dressed for the occasion and looked lovely. I was attending a 4th of July party and an older male family member was watching tennis on TV. So that is how I saw the event. He shouted at me to come watch the princess and Federer. Note that this man does not know anything about the royal family, but he kept saying a very pretty woman, the princess of something or other, is giving Federer a standing ovation. So even this old American guy was totally charmed with Kate. I was amazed that he took a shine to this situation in this way. They really do compliment each other so well. Catherine knew in her soul this man was hers. It shows in their body language and that of the children also. Those kids are so damn normal. They all have an easy way with each other. I think a lot of that comes down to how down to earth the Middletons are. Carol was pregnant with James when she started stuffing bags and creating party pieces. She built that business into what it is. She's a very intelligent and driven woman. Kate had a good example. With the Middletons and the palace firmly behind Kate, she has had a great deal of help, safety, and security to mature into her role as well as she has. Catherine shows how to behave at a polo presentation. She also shows how to dress appropriately. That dress, however, does remind me of the couture dress that Meghan wore to a wedding. Catherine doesn't look as though she's trying to climb out of a duvet cover, though. Last year, Harry was playing polo with Nacho's team in a league, and we were all treated to a PR blitz. What happened? Is he off the team? Is the team no longer playing together? Did Megan do something to ruin the relationship with Nacho and his wife? A source said Harry doesn't exactly play polo anymore, and his friend Nacho seems to be distancing himself. Not a huge Harry fan, but it's very sad that he's slowly losing everything that ever gave him joy because she has to hit on everything that breathes. We all saw the way Megan was eyeing Nacho during the last tournament and his wife, Delfina, is having none of it. Also, Nacho is the one who owned the ponies and lent them to Harry so he could play and draw some royalty to the tournament. Now that Harry and Megan are so toxic, Nacho can't afford to have him on and the fact that Harry's out of shape and was never a great player. Nacho's team tours around the world, but didn't include a season in Santa Barbara this year. I think Nacho foolishly thought it might drum up a bit of interest and royal fairy dust by having Harry on the team as their old pals. What he definitely didn't bank on was Meghan making it all about her. And, well, we all remember that trophy presentation. It's gone down in Megzatir folklore as one of her most cringe moments. I expect Nacho was pissed at the fallout and negative connotations and figured it wasn't worth the expense. Polo ain't cheap. And Harry was probably out of shape and shit compared to the younger pros. Just not worth it. As far as I know, Nacho's team is not playing this year, at least not in Santa Barbara. As to, did Megan do something to ruin the relationship with Nacho and his wife? Need to ask? Of course. Megan wanted to outdo everybody else. And Nacho's wife was not pleased with one, the polo cup stunt, Madam pulled, and two, Megan trying to take over. Remember when Nacho's wife put up a photo on Instagram from the polo club that showed Megan from the back and then she had to take it down? I know we're not meant to body shame, but it could have been a less flattering photo at all. Honestly, it was pure SpongeBob's body. 
I don't think something crazy dramatic happened. I think they're probably just annoying mooching people to be around, which is why friends cut ties. But there's no way Delphina didn't know what a terrible photo that was of Meg. I wonder if that's what kicked off the assumed as Ozempic weight loss. The first thing I noticed was the difference in body language between the two men. Then the start of the article is how supposedly great life in Santa Barbara is for Harry. Doesn't really look like it judging by the photo. Then the caption on the next photo of Harry thanking Nacho and his wife for a fun time that he hasn't had for a while. Oh really? Why is that? Mention of the Uvalde tragedy, which Megan took the camera crew so, so inappropriate. Finally, the photo seems like a kind of an aggressive stance of Megan, talking to or at Nacho's wife, who is backed up against a tree, and Harry awkwardly standing nearby. Besides, multiple sources reveal that Harry needs to tone up a bit before he can play polo again. Nacho, who's a bit older than Harry, looked as fit as William in his most recent polo pics in NY. Harry's getting soft, developing a significant paunch, and he looks like he's in hangover mode 24-7 in pics where he's not wearing sunglasses. I'm no fitness expert, but common sense suggests that it's not safe for someone to play polo when he's obviously not in the best physical condition and might be prone to injury. Harry's jousting fall was after he'd broken with the church, banished Catherine to an isolated castle and took her jewels and title, took Mary's title and forced her to be Elizabeth's attendant. He forced his sister to marry the old French king, though he wanted to marry Brandon, and despite promising her she could marry Brandon when the husband died, find them and banish them when they later married. He engineered Wolsey's downfall, imprisoned and executed Moore, and stuck his head publicly on a pike. He was cruel and unpredictable before the fall and worse after. Our charity's finally starting to realize how bad of a look it is to be associated with fucking grifters. Something like that cannot be unsaid, and from such a solid source that would definitely know. Besides a tweet that is hardly an official source, the polo event is gone from the official website showing upcoming events. Didn't the idiots announce he was going to Singapore on Prince William's birthday? Bad move, Harkles. Bad move. Is this why we saw Harry and his daughter? Harry's palace-created goodwill is a currency that he can no longer use as trade. It's just shitty Harry and his shitty wife with their shitty work ethic. Do you think Harry can continue to play polo with Nacho's team? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.